Welcome to WordPress Photo Gallery video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install the WordPress Photo Gallery. Let's first log in to our administrator panel. Then we'll navigate to Plugins and click on Add New. We'll click on Upload and click on Choose File to get the file that we had previously downloaded. Photo Gallery zip file. Open it and click on Install Now. In a little bit of time, it will show you that your plugin has been installed successfully. You will need to activate the plugin by clicking Activate Plugin at this point. So our photo gallery has been installed and activated. At this point, I'll show you how to create or edit your WordPress photo gallery. What we need to do now is go to Photo Gallery, click on Add Galleries Images. From here, we'll click on Add New. And the very first field that you notice is the name. We need to name our gallery, so for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to name it Gallery 1. Next comes the slot. This area is for specifying the alias in your website for the gallery. I'll leave this blank for now. The description area is to fill out the information you would like to share about the gallery. I'll leave it blank as well. Published. Selected Yes by default. You can choose whether to publish the gallery or to leave it for the further publication. Next comes Preview Image. This will let you indicate the image which will be used to preview the gallery. If you leave it blank, random image will be picked from the gallery. And now Add Images. Let's click on Add Images and see what we can do. Here is where we're going to upload our images. The plugin is not using standard WordPress Media Manager. Here you will be redirected to Photo Gallery File Manager. Let's upload some files now. On uploading the images, a thumbnail image is automatically generated and saved for each of the uploaded images. The thumbnail image keeps the original aspect ratio of the image regardless of the values of the thumbnail dimensions options. The default value is set to 300 by 300 pixels and can be changed from the thumbnail options page under the options menu. You can upload images from your PC and other devices. Multi-selection is also possible. Simply hold the control button and click on images you want to select. Let me just do that now. You can either drag images here or you can choose files by clicking on choose file. I'm going to go to my pictures folder and I'm going to click and control on four images that I would like to add to my photo gallery. I'll say open. My images are right here. This is the perfect time to tell you that we have two ways to view our files. Either a thumbnail view, which is right here, or a list view next to it. I'm going to choose list view. It's easier for me to work this way. Without leaving the uploader, you can perform all the basic file operations using the buttons on top of the window, such as up, make directories, rename, copy, cut, paste, and remove, delete images and directories. Now it is important to remember that I can control and click on the images that I want to add to my gallery or if I want all of them I can click select all and not to forget to say add selected images to gallery. Okay now let's explore the individual options of the images we have just uploaded. The very first button you see is select all. Remember, if I say select all, it will select all of my images on all of my pages. However, if I want to select all images on current page only, I will click the checkbox on the top left corner of the images. So I'm going to unselect this and select from here by clicking on the box. This will select just the current page files, not all of them on all of my pages. Okay. In show order column selection, you can either drag and drop images to change the positioning of the images. To do this, simply click and move the pointed cross symbol to the left of the images. And there you go, you have changed the positioning of these two images. Or by clicking one more time on show order columns, it becomes hide order column and we can manually change the positioning. This option is more useful when you have multiple pages of images and it is not convenient to use drag and drop. Let's talk about set watermark. Set watermark lets you apply a previously created watermark by checking the image you want to add the watermark to. The watermark can be created in the options menu of the product. Next we have the reset button. 
it will reset images to the initial point. You can select multiple or all images and press this button to reset. It will remove all kinds of changes including crop, rotate and watermark. Publish and unpublish buttons are next to each other. For example, if you unpublish an image from the list, it will not be displayed in the gallery of the website. Then we have the delete button. It will simply remove an image. Crop, Rotate, Reset buttons are next and they are located right next to each image. Now, if I want to crop an image, I will make a selection and click on the Crop button and there you go. If I click out of it, I'm not losing anything, it automatically saves it. Now, any changes you make here will not affect your large image. Let's check that. I have a cropped image, I click on it, my large image remains the same as it was before. If for some reason I didn't like the changes that I made to my image, I will click on Reset, say Yes, and my thumbnail image goes back to what it was before. In L Title section, you can provide title for each image, and in Description section, you can provide detailed information about your images. By pressing Add Tag under Tags, you can add a number of tags to images from the list of created tags. How that's done, I'll show you in a second. Next, we have the Published button. It lets you choose whether to publish or unpublish the particular image. Click on it once, unpublishes, and click on it another time. You have it published, and then I can delete this particular image with the delete button. And finally about creating editing tags for the galleries and albums you have created. At this point you might want to scroll up and click on apply button to keep all the changes you made to your gallery right here. Okay now that I've done that I'll go to tags on the left menu. Here I need to provide a name for my tag. As you can see I have created Pagani cars, sports cars. I'm gonna make another one lovely cars. Slug, again here you can specify the alias for the tag in your website. And finally by clicking add tag I have created another tag, lovely cars. Okay at this point I can go back to my photo gallery, choose my gallery one that I have created already and say add tags. I have three different tags I can choose from or select all. Then I click on add and all my tags are right here. And this concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoy your new photo gallery.